Hello, I'm Elena Holland, and welcome to the debut of the TV5 Vault, where we take a look back at a story from the WNEM archives. This week, we're featuring a story about legendary TV5 weathermen Chuck Waters and Jim Payton. Let's take a look at a clip about their time at TV5 and beyond. It aired in 1981 on a show called PM Magazine. Let's see if you remember this. Enjoy this look back. Who is Chuck Waters? Well, uh, Chuck, Chuck Waters is a ham, for one thing. You know, uh, I bet you all this past year you've been hearing Mommy and Daddy say to you, well, now, you be good and I'll give you an ice cream sundae, or you be good and I'll be, give you a quarter. How many of you, how many of Mommies and Daddies said that to you? Does a lot of you say that? Certainly. But you know something, boys and girls? When I was your age, you know something? I was good for nothing. That's right. That's right. I was good for nothing. That wasn't very funny, though, was it, huh? Oh, well, these are the jokes you got to laugh it up because they're not going to get any better from now. He's a happy-go-lucky guy most of the time. He has his down moments, but most of the time he's up. He's a dreamer, too. I guess he's a real dreamer. And uh, probably dream the rest of my life. Just two years ago, Charlie's future dreams were threatened when he suffered a major heart attack and a worsening condition forced him to undergo open-heart surgery. I'm thankful I'm here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I take each day as it comes. Charlie knows there are times now when he must slow down, Set but not when he's at a gears game. I imagine at times when I'm away from, or at a hockey game, but that's me on the ice. I wish that it could be me. Charlie's imagination carries over into his work, too. His use of woolly worms and other creatures in his forecast have become a kind of trademark. What's the menagerie say today? Well, uh, you know, I was talking to you this afternoon, I don't know if you recall or not, but as I was facing you, I was looking out the window back of you, and there I noticed a chipmunk over on his back. Oh, I thought you it, had something wrong with your eyes, and you were looking out the window. No, 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 the chipmunk was on his, on back, his back, out in the field there, he's scratching his back like that, you know, and that, sure, I just knew right then the temperatures were going to <laughs> rise, and by golly, they are. Charlie and I both are, are still live. All of our weather shows are live, and so we're still on thin ice every day. You know, we're out there bad living. That's and, right. And, oh, we can be in awful trouble if we say the wrong thing. The weather changes, the maps change. What has changed and what has stayed the same with you two over the years? Uh, that's, well, we've aged well together, and I don't say that in jest. I think that's, uh, and we work well together. I don't think that's changed. Uh, well, I think you we almost have, have to in the kind of proximity we, uh, we well, are yeah. in and working together pretty well on updating each other's uh, forecasts and things like that. Well, that's true. I, as far as... Uh, it would be heck if we didn't talk to each other. Oh, for gosh, a week. yes, because we have to help each other out in many respects. You'd so. be saying sunny for the next day and I'd be saying rain and we'd probably have one heck of a feud going on the air. Who are you when you're in front of that camera? I am a number one, a performer. When you get on the air on your show, yeah, you know this is what you've got to do night after night, and I guess you do give a little extra. Yeah. You know, when, when we're doing our thing, yeah, I guess we probably would turn loose a little more. I think so. It works that way on me anyway, I know. Once I'm in front of the camera and it turns on, I am... <laughs> I'm on. Well, how creative those two were. They really found the place between forecasting and entertaining, and they sure thrived there. Now, if you remember Charlie and Jim, and we want to hear your memories, do you have a favorite animal reference or cartoon drawing? Let us know on our Facebook page. We'll have many more trips down memory lane, some long ago, some that seem like yesterday, so stay tuned. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the TV5 Vault.